What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create product bundles in your store. So let's say you had three products like this that were related and you wanted to sell them together to not only make it easier for the customer, but maybe you wanted to provide a discount on it too. So this is something you can do to boost your order value. So with that said, we're not going to waste any time and I'm going to get right into how you can do this in your store. So we're going to be using an app called Easy Bundles and Volume Discounts. So you can find this app by clicking the first link in the description or just searching Easy Bundles here in the Shopify App Store. And once you have the app installed on your store and you open it up, this is what it's gonna look like. And for this, we're gonna be creating a bundle. So we're gonna be going to the bundles page. So if we go to create bundle, there's going to be two types of bundles that you can create inside of the app. And we're going to create both of them in this video. So we're gonna start with a basic bundle. So this bundle is essentially just going to be a pretty simple, straightforward bundle. If you just have a few products, like say these three that you just want to package together into one bundle product, then basic bundle would be good for that specific scenario. The complex bundle is gonna be good for if you want to have a bunch of different options. So Shopify has a limit of three variant options. So if you wanna be able to bypass that, then you can use the complex bundle. So we're gonna start off with basic bundle right here. So if we click on basic bundle, we can just give it a name. I'll just call it skincare bundle. And then you can choose to give the bundle a discount. So what's going to happen is the app is going to calculate the price based on the price of all of the bundle products together. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So if I were to just add these products to the bundle by clicking add products, I can add these three products here in. And now you can see that it shows the bundle price, which is just the price of all three of these products compiled into one. Now, what you can do is you can choose to automatically discount this if you want. So let's say if I put it at 20%, now we can see the bundle price is 20% off what it would be to buy all of these products individually. And this is gonna be a good idea because this is going to incentivize people to buy the bundle instead of buying just maybe one or two of these products individually. So this is gonna help increase your overall order value. And you can choose whether you want to automatically adjust the price based on changes made in the product prices. So essentially what this means is if I were to go in here and change the price of the skin cleanser to $24.99, then the discount percentage would automatically update and go based off of the new original price instead of the set original price. So it'll just update if you change price the price of the products in the bundle itself. The next thing you can do is you can add a bundle image by clicking upload. So this is just going to be the image for the bundle product in your store. And then you can choose the quantity of each product that you want in the bundle. So in this case, I'm going to keep all of them at one. But let's say if you wanted to have, say, two of each in this bundle, you could just do that. And then once you've done that, we can just click on save. And now we can see that this bundle has been created. So there's a few different options we can do. We can view it on our store and then we can also view it in Shopify. So if I view it in Shopify, we'll see that a bundle product has been created and you can edit the product details in here if you want. So you can give it like a product description, give it a category, type, collection, tags, etc., just like any other product. And then if I view this product on the store, we can see that it's showing up right here. And if I were to add this product to cart and then go to checkout, we'll see here that it will show all of the items right here. So in terms of how the inventory works is the basic bundle is going to be using the inventory level of the item inside of the bundle that has the least amount of inventory. So what will happen is the entire bundle will show as out of stock if any of these individual products are out of stock. So that will prevent you from overselling. 
unless of course you have continue selling when out of stock enabled on all these products then you can continue selling so the inventory syncs up perfectly and they show you an example of that here if we go over to products let's take a look at the inventory now so we can see that there's 15 in stock 969 in stock and 72 in stock of each of these individual products here so if i were to place an order right now we'll see each one of these will go down by one so i'm gonna go ahead and place an order real quick so we just placed the demo order right here and now if we jump back over to products and we just refresh the product page and scroll down we can now see that we have 14 968 and 71 so each one of these inventory levels were updated accordingly and if we take a look at the bundle product we can see that it shows that we have 14 in stock because it's going based off of the lowest stock product inside of the bundle itself so that's how you can create a pretty simplified straightforward bundle so if you just want to add a few products together have it sync perfectly with your inventory that's how you can do it with basic bundles inside of the app so let's say we want to do something more complex so let's say we wanted to do like an outfit bundle so we have shoes joggers hoodie hat and a shirt and each one of these products all has a unique selectable variant here so it's not as straightforward as where these products are just three simple products and they all have one variant this is going to be five products that all have unique variants that need to be selected so this is where you would have to use a complex bundle so if we go back up here to create bundle again and click on complex we can give it a name again and just name it outfit bundle and there's going to be two things that you need to do for the complex bundle as well and the first one is just activate the feature so a lot of times it will already be activated for you but if not you can just click the activate button right here and then you need to add the app block to your product template so if i just click on the add the theme button here it will automatically add it for us but you can also add this manually if you want so you can see here under product information it's going to be easy complex bundle and you're probably just going to want to drag it right below the price and then click on save so once that's added in we can continue our setup now and what that block is going to do is it's actually going to show the different variant options and it's like i mentioned earlier shopify only allows three so we have to use our own selector if we want to go beyond three so let's just set the discount again and We'll upload the image. So now we'll just go ahead and add the products in now. So I'll add in a t-shirt, hat, hoodie, joggers, and shoes. And then now down here, we can see different things such as the option name. So we can see here, we have the color options for this shirt. We have the color options here for the hat. We have the color and size options here for the hoodie and then the color and size for the joggers and same for the shoes so you can edit these option names if you want or you can just keep them as default and then of course we can go in here and edit the quantity just like we could before so for the sake of sake of example i'll make the hat come with two for this bundle and then once you have set up all your quantities and option names we can just click on save and then the bundle will be created and we can once again do the same thing as before so we can view this bundle in shopify where you could come in here and give it a description and give it the other product information and then you can also view this bundle on the store so now we can see here we have the outfit bundle and we have our five options so normally in shopify products are limited to three variant options but the complex bundle allows us to bypass these limitations so now we can just choose our products in here now so i can go ahead and just choose these different variants and we can see that if there is a price difference so if one variant is more expensive then another one it's going to show 
the price difference your selections are going to make based on the listed price. So I can go in here and just select a few different options. And then I'll just click buy it now to go straight to checkout. And then we can see all of our options here. So we can see each product that we selected. And then we can see one of each and then two of the hat that we designated here. And then just like with the basic bundle, whenever we buy one of these products, the inventory will be removed from each one of these individual products here. So each one of these variants here would lose inventory. So let's take a look at the black hat, for example. So if we look at the hat, we can see the black hat has 20 in stock currently. So once we place this order, we'll see this go down to 18. So I'll go ahead and place this order now. So I place this order. So we'll go back to this hat page and we can see that the inventory has now went down to 18. And just to show you what it would look like if one of these products was actually sold out, let me go in here and make the black hat sold out. So it's now sold out and I'll make sure continue selling with out of stock is off. So now if I go back to the store and we go to the outfit bundle and we go to the hat option, we can see that black is now showing as unavailable since it's out of stock. So that's how you can create product bundles in Shopify, both very simple, straightforward ones or more complex ones that require more options. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comment section down below and definitely check out the easy bundles and volume discounts app by clicking the first link in the description or searching for it in the app store. With that said, subscribe to this channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in another one.